following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Marty in Worcester. Hey, Marty, what's going on? Uh, hi, Mr. O'Brien. How are you? I'm doing great. How you been, man? Not bad. Good? In, uh, in fact, you know, you guys, over the time and with a few of your courses and seminars, you know, you taught me how to fish. That's a beautiful thing, bro. That's so, so cool. Right, yeah, it's true. And so what happens is I still listen all the time, and to not only you but some of the others. Sure. To you know get an idea where the fish might be biting. Yeah. But um, as far as your services, they're a bargain. When you compare them to a certain prominent man with real estate courses at thirty-five thousand dollars and no contact with the lecturers afterwards at all, and you think of what you guys do for a few hundred and you can get access and ask questions forever you know it's a great deal no, no, we appreciate the growling problem with us out here now tom o'brien welcome folks this is tom o'brien of tfnn we go five days a week we go 10 hours a day we go 24 hours a day in the internet at tfnn.com always remember folks whatever you think about you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. And we got a long weekend. Martin Luther King Day is Monday. Markets uh, will not open again until Tuesday morning. Uh, Sunday night, we will get the, the currency markets open, though. And gold will be traded in Asia. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want is to like trying to change a dog into a cat or a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 17, NASDAQ up 25, S&P's up five and a half, gold contract down $2.30, trading at 11.9750. Gold rejected lower price, has lighter volume. Bottom line, gold wants higher price. Silver, silver down a penny at $16.81. Also rejected lower price, lighter volume, also wants higher price. Platinum, platinum's down seven bucks at 9.85 an ounce. You got copper up a penny and a half at 2.69 a pound. Light sweet crude, down 57 cents, trading at $52.44 a barrel. Notes, 10 year note, down six ticks, 124.22. 30 year bond, down 17 ticks, 152.02. King dollar. King dollar down 182 ticks at 101.195. The euro is trading at 106. And the yen is at 114.50. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in y'all world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Bottom line, you go downtown yesterday. Not enough volume to keep it down. Guess what? We go uptown and the volume contracts dramatically. So here you go. So that being said, this market has volume on the SPY at 222. So your volume down there, 108 million. That's going to get tested. The last high that we had, that was on January 6th, we had volume of 71 million. We we're at 227. Now, what happened yesterday is that we went down. We only went down at 72 million. You can see the 72 million stopped dead in its tracks by the high volume at 108. Today, however, this is what you have. This is pretty intense. We've only done 36 million shares in the SPY. This baby is setting, is building cause to go after this low of 222 inside the SPY once again. That's your SPY. We go to the Dow Industrials. What do you have with the Dow Industrials? Dow Industrials also got up into its high, couldn't handle it. Now, we, we have with the Dow, this is pretty intense, actually, because the Dow Industrials has been hanging up here since December 13th. We're dealing right now uh, with, you know, January 13th. Well, hey, we one full month, one full trading month. That's pretty intense. And we've been there the whole time. What does it do today? It gets to a price point of 19950 Two, 
anemic volume uh, inside the N N NYSC out here today, we probably won't do 700 million. We're only at 432 million right now, so there's no buyers up at these highs. That's your S&P, that's your Dow. NASDAQ Composite, now the Composite also has light volume, but the NDX 100 as well as the Composite are at new all-time highs. The Composite right now is up $24. You're trading at $55.72. The high that was generated out here on Wednesday was $55.64. We made it up to $55.84. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100, also at a new all-time high. NDX 100 made it up to a price point today of 5,066. Right now we're at 5,059. The high of Wednesday was 5,050. Bottom line, you're at the new high. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? We get action, folks. Gold is setting up. It looks like it's setting up another ABC structure on the way up. So, gold market out here today. You got down to a low of 1187. Rejected lower price, had light of volume. What gold was doing is it was going into its strength from Wednesday. So what you had is that you got down to a price point of 1187. We did volume um, of 272,000 contracts. That was going against 329,000 contracts. And in fact, you couldn't even make it to the bottom of that bar, which is 1177. And guess what? We're at the top of the bar. 11.9850 uh, was the top of the bar. Right now, I trade in 11.9860. This looks like it's setting up an ABC structure on the way up, and it'll be a beauty too, by the way. This would be uh, if, in, if in fact this is going to be an ABC. If this is the A to B point, you have 11.29 up to 12.07. So you're talking about 38. Uh, no, 11.09. What did I say? 11.09? No, 11.29. So you're talking. Uh, that's 61, that's 68 bucks, you know, that, uh, that'd bring uh, gold uh, up into the 240, yeah, there it is, uh, 1240 level. Looks to me like gold's gonna actually make a run right up into um, 1311. You, you have, the, the next range out here, Gets you, gets you to uh, 1251 to 1311. Silver, what do we have with the silver market? Silver did the exact same thing. It rejected lower price. Um, nice setup here. Uh, silver traded down to $16.61. You're at $16.83 right now. Um, this little baby, the A point on this is uh, 1573. Your B is uh, 1695, so you're talking about a buck and buck 20, which would get you 18. Uh, what did I say, buck 20? No, buck 20, 15. Yeah, buck 20. So that'd be uh, 1770. 1770 would be the A to B equals C to D. Good number. King dollar. What do we have with King dollar? King dollar, folks, can't handle higher price. That's the bottom line. Um, you've done 37,000 contracts. You're going to be closing out at lows for the dailies, for the weeklies. King dollar's on its way down to 99.250. Once you're under 100.600, you get a major failure of the breakout from November. We're going to be right back, folks. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Let's go over and take a look at the uh, XLF. Uh, XLF, of course, is the uh, financial sector. Um, Spider. That traded uh, up to 23.79 today. Your high up there is 23.87. Couldn't handle it. Test it with lighter volume. Rejected it on price. Now this is pretty intense, folks. The reason being is that you had J.P. Morgan come out with numbers, great numbers. Guess what? They te it tested the high, but couldn't handle the price. We got to 88.17. The high was 87.76. We tested it. It's failed on price. Now, let's put it on a weekly, and uh, this is going to be interesting because on a weekly, oh, let's see where we're going to close, 86.55. Okay, so check this out. This is intense. So, on a weekly, what you have is this. We have going to do volume of 86 million. Um, last week, you did, uh, let's see, we did 63 to the prior week, 44, the prior week, 72, the prior week, 96. Now, the 96 is important, and this is why. We're right at the level where if you close under 86.49, that's where you'd have a failure. Bottom line, on a daily, you get a failure. You do have an expansion of volume, though, which means that you can get tested again on the daily. On the weekly, that's not the case. On the weekly, if, we, if, we, if this closes 10 cents lower, that'll be a failure on price of volume on the weekly. So you get JP Morgan, good numbers, couldn't handle price. Bank of America, also good numbers. Bottom line, sellers in Bank of America also. You had the high volume level out here from December 14th, $23.30. You go to $23.40. And in Bank of America's case, you, a, you, are a, you have a failure on price and volume. Bottom line, you've only done 138 million shares versus 225. We put this on the weekly. And on the weekly, um, yeah, this is going to be a failure on the weekly also. So Bank of America failed on the daily, failed on the uh, weekly. Wells Fargo, WFC, that came out with numbers also. Now, Wells Fargo missed their numbers. Um, bottom line is that they, that didn't get it. Well, this is pretty cool, actually. It got into its highest volume day, which is uh, $55.62. We went to 56.20. You did that with the 29 million versus 54 million. And what that sets up, that sets up also a uh, lower price. This is, uh, this is set up to get down to the 51.99 area. Now, 
the banks had the, the shot to get the Dow Industrials to a new all-time high. Bottom line, well, to the 20,000. Bottom line, couldn't handle it. We go over and we take a look at the uh, XL. F, no, XLE, sorry about that. XLE, we take a look at the energy sector. Energy sector out here. We get a sideways move out here today. We're at 74.47. We put this on a weekly, and what you're going to see on the weekly here is that you are into the breakout bar from December 2nd. So what you had is this. Uh, December 2nd, we went from $70 to $76 in the energy sector. Uh, we're at 74.48. Once you get into that bar, it's going to try to get to the bottom of that bar. So that's quite a way from where we are right now. If we go take a look at Exxon Mobil, a couple of the largest uh, equities inside that, you're going to see Exxon. Um, can't get out of its way. Exxon looks like it's setting up an ABC structure on the way down. That will take it to the 82 area. Right now you're at 86.30. We go to Chevron, we take a look at Chevron, what we have with Chevron, that's still hanging at its highs. Um, Chevron's much uh, stronger than um, ExxonMobil. Uh, it's hanging at its highs, you get a bounce today, the bounce is uh, on lighter volume, 3.2 million uh, versus uh, 7.4. We switch gears and we go over to the XAU and the HUI. What you have inside the XAU and the HUI is this. The XAU, Philadelphia Gold and Silver Index is trading at a price point of 86.96. This little baby is quite a setup. Uh, it looks to me like we're going to go after the B point number one, um, which is 88.42. Uh, and we'll see whether it's going to be an ABC structure on the way up. It's a big one. That's the real bottom line. 73 is your A, 88 is your B. You know, so you're talking, uh, you know, 16 points here, uh, 15, point, 15 points, yeah which would get you up to uh, 98 uh, inside the XAU. We go to the HUI, the Gold Bugs Index, and when you look in, in the Gold Bugs Index, is that that is trading at $198.85. This also has the same type of setup, meaning that uh, your A point on this is 160, your B is 205, so it's a big one, 45 bucks. Your C is uh, 193, which gets you about uh, 230, Five, same nice setup. We get a question, um, and what the question is is, Tom, do you make any allowance for volume where the day proceeds or follows a holiday weekend? Okay, so great question. You know, um, so the way that price and volume, the way that I look at price and volume, folks, is like this: is that just when we did, when we when we look at the XAU and the HUI, right? Well, first off. Um, the, the specific question, do you make any allowance for volume where the day proceeds or falls a holiday? The answer is no. And this is why. Because the theory is that supply and demand, if there's more demand, you have higher price and the price will hold. When there's just a mock-up, and the mock-up specifically, you know, you can get things mocked up and it's on light volume, guess what? The price is not going to hold. So in light volume days, and this is what the killer always is, it's not the killer, but you'll see where I'm going with that. And when you, when you feel like it's going to be a light volume day, what you, if you're bullish a sector or an equity, you actually want that thing to pull back. You do not want that to go to higher price because it's always a danger when you go to higher price with a lighter volume, it's going to fall out of bed. Specifically, if we go, and this is, you know, because it's applicable right now to all the markets. I'm going to start with the gold market and what you're going to see inside the gold market is that what we did out here today, you got to a lower low, you got to a low, a rejected price, had light of volume, and in the context of it, it's, this has been pushing, the XAU and the HUI have been pushing highs with volume. So your probability goes much higher that, okay, sweet, this is, an, this is a nice setup. You pull back with light of volume, you have high volume at swings that wants to go higher. Now go to just the opposite. Now we're going to go to the QQQ. We take a look at the Qs. If you're, if you're a bull inside the NASDAQ, you did not want the Qs to go higher today with 11 million shares. Why? Because bottom line, you're getting mocked up and you don't have the amount of people inside the room buying the product. When you don't have that, guess what? It's a mock-up. That's it. It's a mock-up. And when the mock-down comes, it's vicious. So what you have inside the queues 
is that we had, you broke topside on the 6th with 24 million shares. That's even anemic volume because it was getting over 54 million. You're breaking highs today, and we're breaking highs today with 11 million versus 20 million, okay? That's the gist of it, folks. What you do do, so volume-wise, before holidays, after holidays, and volume is just in general. Volume is volume, and that's it. Where's the supply? Where's the demand? That's what you're looking for. Now, next week, what you have to do, because we only have four trading days, okay, is that on four trading days, you, you're going to average out those four days and add another day in for the weeklies. That's what I do. You know, that's because you have to absolutely be cognizant of when holidays are in, so you add that volume in, and the way I do it, I smooth it out. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. You'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials are down 13. Nasdaq's up 24. S&Ps are up 5.5. We're going to be right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Let's uh, take a look at uh, some of the uh, higher volume stocks in this low volume market out here. You have, uh, let's see, uh, Fiat Chrysler is down 27 cents. You get Wells Fargo up 65. Freeport Mac Moran is down 12. We get uh, Ford Motor Company flat. Uh, Facebook is up a buck 89. You have Pandora up 69 cents. Uh, Pfizer is down 15. And if we do go over and we start taking a look at, uh, let's go to Facebook first. They are trading up $1.91. They don't come out with their earnings until 
February 1st. Oh, this is a nice gap high with no volume. Check this out. This I like this. <laughs> so Facebook folks up a buck 89. You're coming into 50 million shares. You got uh, 21 million. That's 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 a nice way to come into a gap. It's above the gap, but that's a nice way to come into a downdraft, meaning uh, to sell it, <laughs> not to buy it. Uh, Facebook right now. Let's see. Yeah, you don't, you, there's, there's, how the, there's less than a 1% shot position in Facebook also. Uh, we go over to Google. We take a look at Google. I believe Google's, uh, well, Google's the 26th, uh, coming out with numbers on the 26th. So next week, you got, uh, we, what do you got? Uh, let's see, the 14th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. Those, those are the days that uh, we're going to have numbers coming out across the market. Of course, the 20th is uh, Inauguration Day. Uh, you're not in window dressing. Uh, you know, we'll see where this whole thing is going to shake out. Uh, if we go over and we take a look at the um, small caps, what the small caps have not been able to do, in fact, they look like they're, you know, building some nice cars for the way down, is this, is that the small caps, the high in the small cap was uh, December 9th, uh, last high, that is, $138.82. Um, you came downtown yesterday, and the small caps, by the way, were the only... Uh, indice that actually did have an expansion of volume on the way down yesterday. Uh, we expanded to uh, 41 million shares. You broke a swing point of 28 million. You were going into another high volume low of 45 million. Now, what the small caps have done out here today is you went to $136.97. Now you're at 136.10. You have 21 million shares, and that's a nice setup, man, for lower price. Um, you know, we go down yesterday with 41 million, you're up today with 21, and you're not, you haven't held even the high of yesterday. The high of yesterday in the small caps is 136.22, right now at 136.10, and you get a close underneath that, that's a total failure. That's saying that that also wants lower price. We get over and we take a look at uh, Apple. Let's see when Apple's coming out with numbers. So Apple's coming out with numbers the 31st. Apple's got a sideways move. Um, oh, this is going to be subtle. So Apple, folks, now you're at 118.82. Uh, Apple would have to close under 118.69 uh, to fail this swing point. You're not going to have the volume on the weekly. Right now, we have... Uh, this is anemic. This is pretty cool. So Apple has, uh, thus far, you get uh, 30 minutes left in the market for this week, uh, 132 million shares traded. It's going into 208 million. It's going into 385 million. That's a nice setup. Uh, it just depends whether it's going to close uh, 20 cents lower. Well, not even 20 cents lower. Uh, you get uh, 10... 82, 72, yeah, 17 cents lower. And we, we very well could get 17 cents um, and, you know, in the next uh, half hour pretty quickly. We go take a look at the uh, Amazon now. What Amazon had uh, going for it yesterday, um, this baby has had volume twice. I mean, it, it almost looks like, uh, it looks to me like uh, Amazon may be able to hold up the NDX 100. The reason being is that you come off the lows, Amazon came off the lows, um, January 5th, 6th, had some juice in it yesterday. You're going into a monster downdraft, but it's almost like, you know what, man, this thing just wants to at least try to tag um, the, the higher price out here at this uh, uh, 840 level. Right now, you're at 818. Let's go to uh, Cooper in Boston. Hey, Cooper, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how you doing, man? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, man. How's good life? Good? <laughs> Life is good, man. Really busy, but it's been good. I uh, haven't had a chance to listen to your show live uh, at all, really, for the last couple of weeks. I've been listening uh, at nighttime, which well, is what I, you know, the best way for me to get at it. But uh, good, to, uh, good to talk to you live today, though, man. Well, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here, man. You, you bet. You bet. So uh, one thing, I, last time you and I talked, we were looking at a ticker called GKOS, and that uh, has worked out pretty well since the day I talked to you. Okay. Um, but uh, what I'm calling about today is uh, AIRG. Um, one time, I've kind of been watching it, but it popped up on my radar today because it had a bunch of volume. Um, so I want to see you look at that for me. Let's take a look. It's AIRG, Air Gain 
They provide antenna yep. technology, integrated support test services for the wireless communication market. The low is 736, the high is 29, your PE is 33. Oh, I see what you're looking at, okay. Okay, so this equity, folks, what he's looking at is on November 4th, it's at 1150. It spikes to 29 bucks and comes all the way back to the breakout area again. Look at this thing, okay. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. Boy, this is a psycho stock. Holy cow. Yeah, I know. It, it, it's, uh, it, it's, a, it's a recent IPO. Yeah, I like it, man. I, you know, I just put this in a weekly, so check this out. I just put this in a weekly. Now, this is a high volume high at 29.30, man. Um, yeah. Your, your downside, which is a problem, too. One second. 3.3 .3 million. 3.4, oh man, it's so close. So check this out. When you, when you come back to breakout areas, folks, right? What you'd like to do is come back with dramatically lighter volume. Now watch what this equity did. The week of November 18th, we go from $15.50 to $29.30. We do 3.4 million. We back down, it's, uh, it takes another month. But see how we back down with 3.3 versus 3.4? Okay, that's, yep. that's very close. It's like, oh, I don't like them like yep. that. Now, that being said, now let's go back to, that's the weekly. So you go back to the daily, and inside the daily, you know, what you can see is that it'd be 766,000 versus 867. It's still close. You know, but as long as you keep your stop tight, it looks to me like, like below 14, 1380, 1390 or so. Oh, you looking to buy this now? Or are you already in? Uh, no, I'm not in it. I'm, I'm looking to possibly get into it. Okay, then yeah, that now this is really cool because if you're just waiting to get in again, this is what ends up happening. And this is where folks, when you get a second test and a third test, you're going to get more information. Yeah, let this go down and try to test this. Um, you know, the 1480 area, that high volume there, even down to the 1376. What you'd love to see is you'd love to see the test on dramatically lighter volume because then what you're going to get is this. You'd, you'd get it on the daily, and then particularly you get a low volume test on the weekly. Like it almost, I believe, let's see, 1376. Yeah, actually, you know what? It tested the, this is what you needed to. It tested the low of the test last week. So we tested that with yep. 1 million versus 3.3. So that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'd buy it on a yep. pullback, man. All right, man. Cooking, brother. Appreciate it. Have a great right, one, man. Thank you. Have a safe yep. one. Bye. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials right now are flat. NASDAQ is uh, up 24. SPs are up 6.5. Um, market just refuses to go red, folks. We're going to be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. 
For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. 877 927 6648. And, folks, if you'd like to test drive my gold report, the way you can do it is that you come over to our website at TFNN. You go to newsletters, go to investment newsletters. You can test drive the Gold Report 30 days, absolutely free. If you'd like to test drive the Market Insights, which is my daily newsletter, you go to newsletters, go to in trading newsletters. You can test drive Market Insights for two weeks, absolutely free. Uh, we go take a look at the uh, transports out here. Let's go see where we are with the transports right now. So the transports, uh, we are trading at 9,202. And these little babies, let's see what we got here. So, you had a high out here December 9th. You come off the high with volume. That's pretty intense on the 16th. Uh, this December 16th is going to be interesting, folks. Okay, so December 16th, that was option expiration. Uh, but you had some volume pushing down that day. You know, we'll see how this just shakes out. Uh, thus far, it looks to me like the transports are going to have a hard time uh, getting over 92.86, and right now you're at 92.03. That's how that seems to be shaking out. Um, we go take a look at uh, Big Blue. I believe, let's see, Big Blue is coming out with numbers, I believe, next week. Let's go let's take a look at this, because this will definitely, um, yeah, the 19th. Okay, so the 19th. Uh, at 4 o'clock, so that's going to be Thursday at 4 o'clock, uh, IBM's going to come out with numbers. So when we take a look at IBM, what you have is this. The high generated in IBM goes back. Yeah, it's 215. 215, March of 2013. Okay. Um, this has been going sideways, trying to get into the downdraft okay so what you have with ibm is this uh, you know ibm took a huge amount of time making its high actually when you take a look at this it's pretty amazing actually you know ibm on a monthly basis it stopped making its high in march of 2012 and went all the way over to april no to july of 2013 you know come down and only come down, well, the, the first leg down, it came down pretty good. It came down from 215 to 177, but then went right back and traded at almost 200 for another six months. The downdraft that it's trying to go into right now was the large downdraft that took it into a whole lower area, and that was the downdraft from October that went from one, uh, 189 to 160. That's where, that's where we're at right now. Now, it's trying to get into that area uh, with dramatically lighter volume. So that, you hear me talk about ice a lot. That's just ice. You know, so uh, we'll see um, exactly uh, what type of numbers that IBM come out with. And I know, you know what, I was, I was going to this Watson uh, webinar, and bottom line, I missed it. Shame on me. Anyway, I have to sign up for another one. I, was, I wanted to see what that was all about. Let's go to uh, John in Boston. Hey, John, what's going on? 
Hi, Tom. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm hanging in there. That's a beautiful thing. I wanted you to take a look at uh, Rio. I'm looking at buying some February calls on it and, uh, and studying it. We had a low volume today, pull back with low volume. Um, I just want to get your sense on it, see if I'm reading it the right way. This what? is an ABC app. Let's take a look. You got Rio Tinto. Uh, this is a large international mining company. They mine just about everything, too, folks. You're talking about aluminum, coal, copper, iron ore, lead, zinc, uranium, all of the above. The low for the year is $21. The high is $42. The PE is 16 and a half. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Oh, I see what you're looking at. Interesting. Okay, so... Last three games, good volume. Yeah, no, this Remember is good volume. Back, this right? is. Let me just see. I'm trying to figure out. Let's see. So you got 29 million, 32 million. You're coming into nothing. So it's like game to 50 bucks here. Let me see what else we got. What? 42, 31. That's 11 bucks. 37, 47. That's 48 dollars. Okay, and which ones are you thinking of buying? I'm, I'm thinking of buying the 4250s. 4250s. I think that's a good trade, man. Yeah. Yeah, so where I'm going with is this. I mean, I think you see it all here. It, this, this baby here, you had great volume the week of March 11th. You had great volume the week of December 9th and this week. You know, you, you're pushing 22 million into 24 million. That's, that's good. That's, that, that works. And where I'm going with the price projection, uh, John, is I'm going, I'm saying, okay, is, is a potential ABC up? And, you know, the, the swing point up on the other side of it is 50 bucks anyway. Let me just put this back. Yeah, this is a good setup, man. You know, if you want to see something, folks, how you have to take out a supply line, this is a good indication of it. It's RIO. And, and what it is is this. So picture, when we bring this back. This stock went from... In 2014, let me bring it back further, actually. I'm going to bring it back five years. Yeah, okay. So this one, in 2014, it's at $58. It goes all the way down to $21. That, you know, the metals market got killed, particularly, um, well, it got killed, period. In, in this case, you not only have precious metals market, you have base metals. And base metals, folks, have gone to the, through the roof, meaning higher dramatically. So as this has been going up, and that's what John picked up. The volume has expanded tremendously. And that's what it takes to take that whole left-hand left hand side of the chart out. And I think you got it, man. I mean, you know, the numbers last night that came out of China here. So check this out. This is pretty intense. Let me see if I can get these for you. Because I was looking at this last night. And China, folks, okay, you know, when, when folks were saying uh, China was slowing down, they never bought as much iron ore, let me see if I can find this. I mean, they just, they just buy an iron ore hand over fist for steel. And it totally makes sense, because you know what I start thinking about after I was reading this? Is that, so picture, China's been moving the commodity markets now for a good, you know, 12 to 17 years, okay? So picture when they first started. When they first started, you know, you, you have only so many cities. Those cities, of course, want to grow. They were growing. Now, guess what, folks? They have hundreds of cities that are huge, just huge. Well, guess what? All those cities want to grow like wildfire. When I was looking at those numbers last night, I'm saying to myself, that's what it is. You, you have a, a much larger pot and many larger cities. They're not going to stop growing, it's just like anything else. You know, you grow or you die. So I think you get action, man. Tom, real quick, real quick. February long enough for me? Um, sure March. So February, we're going to be, let's see, it's going to be the third week of February. 17th, yeah. We're at January 14th right now. Well, you know, what you're really doing, you know, you're buying the 4250s, so... What he's doing, folks, okay, this is just like trading it. He's using options instead of the equity. Now, what's the, what are they, what's it costing you? How much do they cost? Right now, they're 150 by 160.
You know, I'd buy them. That's that's worth it, man. You're paying 150. Yeah. That's that's a that's a good pre that's a very small premium for that, man. Yeah. I'm gonna try and see if I can get them right in the middle, 155. Good for you, man. Cooking brother. Thanks, Tommy. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, and of course, don't forget, folks, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at TFNN, we do 10 hours of live programming. We start at 8 o'clock in the morning. We go to 6 in the afternoon, 5 in the afternoon. Tuesday, Thursday, we start at 7 in the, after, in the morning, and we go to 6 in the afternoon. All that programming, folks, you can get right on your cell phone, tfnn.com, hit Tiger TV. You're going to get some great HD quality video as well as audio. And if you haven't test drove it yet on your cell phone, please do. I, I think you'll be really happy. And, of course, don't forget... Uh, all the programs are archived 24 hours a day. So we take that live content, we, we play it um, over at night, and we uh, start off in the morning again. Our man, Mr. John Logan, starts us off uh, every trading day, 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Larry Pesavento's next. If you want to know what's going on across the world before the market's open, we're here at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, Nico and Paige keep you healthy. If you haven't heard uh, their show yet, it's a fabulous show, folks. And we got to stay healthy, uh, period. That's more important than anything and everything. And I guess, uh, yeah, that's, that's the bottom line there. No two ways about it. 
Uh, Volume-wise out here, folks, this is going to be anemic volume. You're coming up into highs. The NYSE uh, is going to probably do uh, $650 million. Right now, you're at a 506. So it's, it's, there's no buyers. And uh, bottom line is that you try to make, to make a higher high, and it couldn't do it. That's, that's what it comes down to. Um, the NASDAQ Composite, which we're at $1.4 billion right now versus the $1.8 billion. Bottom line, same type of setup there. Uh, we get over to the uh, dollar index. What you're going to see with the dollar, the whole world was bearish. I was bullish the dollar. Uh, bottom line, in fact, you know, I was just uh, going through one of the Bloomberg magazines, and uh, they had a monster article on the strength of the dollar this week's actually. Um, and I just love seeing that because the bottom line is that that's what tends to happen um, at, you know, basically when everyone's on one side of the market. And uh, what you have with this dollar index out here right now is that let me put this on, a, I'm going to put this on a continuous contract so you can see how this is shaken out. So on a continuous contract on the weekly, what you're going to see is that we broke topside on November 18th. This dollar index, folks, had been in a consolidation, and that consolidation started in March of 2015. You know, breaks out, nice breakout too, big time. Okay, you know, the top of the, the top of that is that's where that number comes from, 100.600. We go top side. Well, what we're doing now is that we're barreling back into those lows. We hit 100.700 this week. We're barreling into those lows with volume. Okay, so number one, I expect you're going to get it tested. We have a daily high volume swing low at 99.490. Now, if we break inside here, the way that the methodology works when you're basically a technician is that you can't bust them up and you get a long consolidation. Well, what's going to happen? is that it's going to go to the bottom of that consolidation. The bottom of this consolidation is 91.880. So we're going to learn real soon where this is at. My take is that we are going back inside that. Why? Because what you have inside the gold market is that the gold market has already done, a lot of these gold equities have already done ABC structures on the way up. They've taken the B point out, they've taken out with volume. The metal itself has rejected lower price again. The metal is building cause for dramatically higher price, and the metal has already proved that it doesn't want to go lower. So when you put that together with the aspect of the dollar going lower, guess what? Metal's going higher, bonds are going higher, dollar's going lower. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, Visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Look forward to speaking to you right back here, Tuesday morning, 8 o'clock. Wow! Go get them, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN.